some people think I was just picking on the Americans in the last video. Um, but you have to realize that even the term American is considered to be what we call in language a Gentile terminology as would be the other nationalities. They're all of the nations. They have nothing to do with the sovereignty of God. So hopefully through these videos, this will absorb in. Uh, it's going to take a bit of time because I know if you've run your lives contrary to this, um, you may have been, you know, with sincere thought, uh, you were operating properly, but uh, that's not the case. So we're here to deal with truth, not fiction. Now we go to the Oath of Allegiance because we know for Canada, so I'm not leaving out the Canadian pagans on this one. Um, it's just that they're a little tricky. For one thing, uh, when someone swears on a Bible, be aware they're cursing it. Um, the reason they take it away from you is so you don't have God to protect you anymore. No wonder so help you God at the end because you're going to need all the help you can get once you've cursed God. So... The uh, Oath of Allegiance starts in, at least in Canada, I, whoever it would be, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, so help me God. Well, okay, well, I know I take it down a uh, situation. I know that there is some thought that uh, Her Majesty is believed to be the 144th lineal descendant from the throne of King David. Um, I'd find that hard to believe considering the fact is that she adheres to many, many pra pagan practices uh, and that the Church of England is really a branch of papal Rome to begin with. So how could anything be pure that's part of basically the seven hills of Rome, um, the, uh, the whore of Revelation? This is, um, this is just a matter of, of research. It's and finding the facts, this is not that difficult. But the fact that they would even claim that they would be holding the throne for Jesus Christ when he returns would imply the fact that his succession would be coming somehow after they're gone. But Jesus was already raised to the right hand side of God, he already has the throne, he doesn't have to have her majesty hold it for him. But in the sense they're even thinking that. Um, well, then uh, Jesus Christ would be a successor um, to them. And therefore, uh, you'd be obligated uh, to put full allegiance uh, to that successor. That's, so are they going to say that Jesus Christ isn't going to succeed them? They haven't admitted that, at least. But uh, definitely be careful. It's all wolves in sheep's clothing. Uh, this is, a, a, it's unfortunately that a truth is really not just strange affection, it's a stranger in the world affection. So Christians are a stranger to the world of lies of Satan. Be aware, you may have been deceived.